All right, so we'll get started. Um, I want to just go around. Normally, we just go around and ask everybody uh, to give up their name and and kind of why they're here, maybe their position in the club if they have one. Um, so if we want to start with Michelle. Michelle Nobleman, I'm the president of the Palm Springs Rotary, and um, I am here because my my club has gotten so small that we don't have people to do all the all the different chores. <laughs> Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl Oakley, and here for knowledge because I know zilch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Esmeralda. Hi guys, I'm Esmeralda Sanchez. I'm a business owner. Bro I have a brokerage in town. We do property management, real estate, taxes, and I'm a local member of the Rotary. And I actually liked your post about, I think it, I thought it, it says something about social media. And if you want to do, um, if you want to learn how to do uh, social media posts, and I thought, ah, we need that mm -hmm. as a business owner. <laughs> All right, how about you, George? Well, I'm George Schaefer, been in town for two years, enjoying Hammett from Long Beach. I'm a numbers guy, no, I had no artistic ability at all, and I hope it doesn't take much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a you? Long Beach girl, too. I'm from Long Beach, too. Really? Crazy, oh. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clarissa. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Mo, I'm so I'm, I'm a Rotarian and I have a business. I just start my business insurance and I see the post like the help, like the marketing and a lot of information for businesses. So I say that sounds very interesting. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> well, thank you very much. OK. I'm going to attempt to share some screens here. I know this is uh, it's Judy's log on so i'm gonna do my best to hold it together um give me one second all right so tonight we are here to discuss public image but specifically the tips and tricks for creating marketing materials so most of you know me actually all of you do um but i am on the my, my name is Dan Cortesi, and I am on the District 5330 Public Image Committee. And next year, I will be the public image chair for the district. So I'm moving on up. Tonight, I wanted to discuss the three tools that I use to do everything that I do on, on social media. So everything starts with the Rotary Brand Center. The Rotary Brand Center, um, before just recently, required a logon to get into through my Rotary. And it was more or less uh, like a subheading, a link to get to the Brand Center. And that opened up everything that uh, you needed to, to use for any sort of branding. Now it's completely open to the public. So everybody can look in and see what um, branding materials we have. So even if you're not in a position in, in, in Rotary or, you know, you just have a, you know, an interest in learning that kind of stuff, you could go right into the um, Rotary Brands uh, Center. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Canva. That's pretty much what I use the most. So everything that I get from Rotary Brand Center, I bring it into Canva. And um, obviously I create uh, a variety of things for a variety of reasons, but we'll get further into that once we get into Canva. Then on the more technical side, um, I'm using a program called Envato Elements. Now that requires the Adobe Suite program. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pricey program to have. Uh, so I know not most people don't have it. It doesn't come with your computer and all that stuff. Uh, you'd have to purchase it. Uh, but I have the Adobe Suite available to me. So I can use uh, programs like After Effects where I create most of my videos, um, but it also has a variety of templates for uh, flyers and stuff, but it's using Photoshop. So those are the three, um, those are the three programs that I use um, pretty much all the time now. 
So first I wanted to get into uh, the Rotary Brand Center. So if you want to go into the Rotary Brand Center, all you have to do is type in Rotary Brand Center on the search engine and you'll it'll go right to it. But if you need the actual address, that's what it is. Like I said, it's now a public website, so it's available for anybody. So we're gonna go into the Rotary Brand Center and let's see. Look good for everybody? Yeah. Okay. So there's there's three components to the brand center. Our brand basically talks about um, what Rotary brand what Rotary's brand is. It talks about people of action, how to promote it, uh, different types of brand elements. You can go right into downloads. Now this is this is the bulk of what I use. Um, most people need to know where to locate uh, their own Rotary logo. Well, this is where you go. You go in here and you can build your logos um, according to what type of logo you need. So you can um, you can kind of, first of all, you just create your own basic, you can pull off your own basic logos. But if you want to go in and create them, you go into up here. Where did I go? I'm already losing it. This is a brand new website, so I'm still getting used to it too. So you go in here and you can create different types of logos. So typically you're going to go over to here, Rotary logo template. And all you have to do is go in and type in your Rotary club name. Very easy to do. There's two different types. There's the regular logo, which is what you see here. There's a simplified logo. So it kind of, it gets rid of the, the Rotary International information. Um, both are acceptable, obviously. Uh, you can have full color, all white, all black, blue, white, and gold. And then you can kind of position where you want the information above the logo, above and below the logo. Typically I stick below the logo. So club of Hemet, boom, it's done. All you need to do now, download the file. Then you get to pick whether you want it in a PDF, PNG, JPEG. It's pretty simple. So with that, if you put, if you picked like a PNG, then you can do like the see-through logo. You don't have the background stuff like that. If you have the PNG, you'll have a white background. It does off-center the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you, uh, once we get into Canva, how you can straighten that all up. But there's other types of logos you can do, like the lockup, which is basically if you want to um, incorporate like a partnership. So you can create a logo using the Rotary logo, and let's say you wanted to do... Uh, it's polio day and polio now logo, right? You can, you can put those two together in the rotary lockup. And that's like the official, uh, correct branding for a partnership. You can also do that for a rotary action group or fellowships. And of course you have Rotaract, interact, uh, different styles of logos for those two. So it's super easy to use. All you have to do is go in here, type in what you want, add in whatever logo you want, and it's done. You just download. It's super simple. Dan? Yes. When you were saying about positioning, um, is it like you would put like um, circle like where you want it and then move it to that area? No. Your... When you download the logo, I'll show you here. Um, oops. You're going to see it. It, it kind of shows up off to the side. It's just the way logos are in, in Rotary. So see how it's kind of off to the side over here? It's not centered. So that's, that's going to be something that you'll have to do, which in Canva, it's super simple. So I, would, I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay. But, but typically, okay. they always, just the way they come is off-centered, so you have to make those corrections. Okay. 
I'm not sure why, to be honest. I have never researched okay. that. I just, I've just kind of dealt with it over the years. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. So downloads. And of course, it, it doesn't stop just at logos. If you want anything related to people of action, polio, the separate causes that we, we work on, it's all in here. If you want videos, um, they have videos in here. If you want club uh, resources, you, you can literally design t-shirts in here. They give you all of that information. It's, it's pretty amazing what, they've, what they're offering now. So these are all separate graphics talking about the areas of focus. So basically what you could do is you could take this information and just import it right into Canva and then kind of do what you want with it. As long as that, that rotary logo with the wheel of excellence or the mark of excellence, as long as that stays as it is, as you build it in the, in the uh, program, you're okay. That's what's most important to, to Rotary's branding. So I wanna go next into, um, of course we got the, oh, here's the templates and stuff like that for the Rotary's, Rotary logos. So you got images, videos, audio. They even give you uh, radio commercials if you'd like to use them in your area. So everything is in here. So the Rotary Brand Center is, is where you should start for all your projects related to Rotary. So now I'm going to jump over to um, Canva. So Canva, when I originally started to use Canva, it was while I was president as, as with our Rotary Club. And what I noticed is that we didn't have a lot going on on social media. So I knew that I had to find a quick solution. I used apps on my phone and stuff like that. That's how I actually discovered Canva. It was an app or it is an app. But once I put it onto my desktop, um, it just kind of opened up the possibilities of, of what you could do. So here's an example. You go up to the very top. Once you log into to Canva, you're going to see all of these things up at the top here. Facebook posts, logos, they have Instagram posts in here, Facebook covers, infographics, uh, they got flyers, programs, your story, photo collages, videos. This is what I use all the time. All right. So you basically name what kind of marketing material you need. You can type it into the search on the top and it pulls it up for you. It's super simple. And what it does, once you open it, I'll go to the most common one I use. Facebook posts, right? So you can start out with a blank blank canvas or you can go over here to the templates. These templates are all available to use and they're, you can manipulate every single one of them. Okay, so it's fall. So happy fall, right? So you've got some text in here to play with. If you want, you can change your uh, your text to whatever you you would like. I'm dealing with a lot of Halloween stuff right now, so there's all different types of fonts for that. But you can even type in, um, you know, Halloween fonts, and it'll bring up a, a variety of fonts that you could use. So it's it's super simple. It's 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 wide open. Um, handwriting. I use this a lot. You know. If you want something fancy, you know, you can add that in. So that's easy. Now I want you to guys to focus on this little crown here. The crown means that you have to have the pro edition. Now, when I first started with Canva, I did not have the pro edition. So it is actually pretty limited um, as far as what you're allowed to use and what templates you're allowed to access. Um, what you need to do, we all qualify for this. If you have a nonprofit or if you're in Rotary, um, all you need to do is submit to Canva's nonprofit uh, page, which is Canva for nonprofits. And you put in your 501c3, uh, C3, C, yeah, information. And you 
they within like a week or so, you'll get Canva Pro for free. So all of those little um, crowns will will be accessible to you. And there's a lot of them. So um, that basically, yeah, opens up everything in this program to use. Most of what I use has a crown on it. So it's it's probably the better stuff, you know, the better elements and stuff like that that they have that are accessible for you to use. So when you get in here, you decide, okay, you like certain templates. Let me go back here. Um, you've got your, your, uh, your text figured out. Then you can go into elements, right? Once you go into elements, you do the same thing. You type in whatever you're looking for, fall. And if I want to add a pumpkin to that, I can just put a pumpkin behind there, right? If I want uh, pretty much anything, I want to add some extra leaves in here. Oh, there we go. Added some extra leaves. If you want to change the background, you can change the background. Oh, there's a video. And you can just grab all the text, move it around wherever you want it to go. It's that easy. So there's a ton of options here. You can add some falling leaves if you want. So does that does that look simple to you? While you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure it's simple for you guys. Go and find some more stuff. Okay, so uploads. Now this is what um, this is what information you're going to pull in from Rotary Brand Center, right? So I have the Rotary Brand Center logo here. That's a PNG, so it's see through. Now, remember how he said it was off a little bit? You can always select the image and drag these over these boxes over to center things, and then when you do that it helps you center in the page. So if I want it perfectly centered into this page, I'm gonna find the center. Okay, there's a center up there. Uh, there it is. See when those lines cross, now you're perfectly centered. So it, it actually aids you along the way to center things. If you want to be kind of centered into, on the, beneath that text right there, it, it highlights it for you. So it's telling you what to do. If you want to, you can add text. There's some um, different styles of text that you can add in here. It's already created for you, so you don't have to get too creative. And then you can put that wherever you want it, resize it to whatever you need. If you want to do some effects on the on the text, you can change things, change the intensity, the shadows here. There's some automatic stuff that you can do down here. Makes it neon. You can change the intensity again. So everything you can manipulate on here. Do you want to pull in another photo of something else? Let's see. Um, let's see. People. You can just drop in a photo of people and make that your background. You can also go down to videos and do the same thing. So you can search whatever kind of uh, video you want. All. And you can have a, you know, a video in your background. When you want to save this kind of stuff, you go up here to share. You go to download. And then it's got a variety of ways to save it. So if you just want to save this as a JPEG and not a video, you can choose that. A PNG. A PDF standard. If you're going to do any printing jobs. You do print, 
PDF print. You can do the crop and bleed marks. You can flatten it. You can change some of these settings for pr professional uh, printing. So it's got it all there for you, however you want to do it. Oh, if we want to tr make your background transparent, you can also do that too. So pretty much everything on here you can manipulate. What I do is, uh, let's see, is I bring in a lot of audio tracks and I actually get that from a different program, but uh, it does offer you some stuff here to, you know, to add to your, your page, your uh, posts or whatever you're creating. Um, I have a lot of audio files in here. So let's see. Uh, cartoon logo. Drop that in there. Did you hear that? No audio? Okay. Well, basically, you can drop in any type of um, audio in into there if you, that you'd like. So that's pretty simple. So that's kind of the basics of Canva. Of course, like I said, you, you can basically type in anything you can think of. I often use flyers. So I start, I start here with the flyer and I, they go on and on forever. They got, I think, tens of thousands of, of flyers and um, oh, 58,000 actually. So they just keep going on and on and on forever. So especially if you're a realtor in the group, that would be an easy one. You can just easily manipulate these, but you can follow you can follow the template or you can manipulate it however you want. So if you don't like white as your background, you can change it. Just highlight it and and change it a different color. So it's that simple, and that's that's what I do a lot of the time. Is I I come in here, I find a flyer that. Um, that I like, but maybe it's not perfect. So I'm going to go in and, and, and kind of change things. Another thing that's really cool you can do is you can create a brand kit on here. I'm going to go into that real quick because I use this. I rely on this. So these are the different organizations I'm involved with. So uh, for instance, District 5330, uh, brand kit. I put in a logo with a background. I've got a transparent background. Uh, Canva automatically pulls these color codes from the uh, the logo. So that's how when I go into uh, certain templates, I'll manipulate the colors to kind of match the logo. And of course, you can also put the font that you choose. When I made this logo, make Rotary relevant, I chose um, League Spartan, which is is this text, and now I can make sure that I can kind of mimic that um, in other, you know, other uh, templates that I create. Of course, you can do. Uh, there's a project file on here, so these are my projects. I've got. Uh, I got District 5330, City of Hemet, Tinsel Triathlon, Valley Community Pantry. So I can put, I can organize things how I want into those folders. Um, but it's pretty, pretty easy to keep track of stuff. Um, easy to download stuff, easy to create stuff. So do you guys have any questions about Canva or anything else that you, you want to know? So it looks like you have a, a, a Mac. Um, I do. Do you have you used it with PC? Is it as easy in PC? Uh, yeah, actually, it's it's the same. I don't okay. have any issues. Yeah, I mean, overall, the Mac has been, you know, harder to get used to. Um, but as far as this stuff goes, it's pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so uh, Dan, you yeah. created yeah, you created a flyer for the candy corner. How long did it take you to do that? That took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Wonderful. So this was a template. This is the template right here. 
So I took that template and I kind of manipulated it. Obviously it was candy. So I added some candy to the background. And then I, like I actually, when I typed in the Halloween fonts, it was for this. So I looked for, for a font that, you know, I could use um, throughout yeah. that would kind of match the theme. But yeah, so that, that was, uh, that was super easy to make. Wonderful. Thank you. But in all honesty, I mean, when I first started doing this, I had to figure out all these little, um, little hidden things that are in here. So, um, if you're looking for, uh, you know, an easy way to make something, look for the template first, go in and search the elements you can find up. Oh, there's my candy corn right there, or one of them is, but candy corn, obviously easy to find. Um, you can pretty much find any sort of element in here. Um, if you want to do a blend or a gradient, sometimes I blend images. All you do is type in gradient. You can manipulate the colors to match your, your background. Um, I'm constantly uh, using their photos. They do. It's just like an internet search on here, but um, that gives you a lot of options to change things. Um, of course, when I get into the videos, the videos are uh, get a little bit more complicated. There's a little bit more you can do with them. Let me go into a video real quick just to show you. So back to the future. So sometimes I do these things just for fun because I think they're cool. So this, hold on a second. So sometimes you can't hear the audio, right? Nobody can hear the audio. Huh? Okay. So I'll get, I'll just show you the video. That happens sometimes on Zoom where you you can't the audio doesn't come out in embedded yeah um, videos. I think that's what happened. I think I forgot to share the sound. Mm. Let me stop share. Try again because that is pretty cool. Oh, I can't do it. It's not allowing me to do it. Can you hear my kids in the background? Barely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's not going to work, but what I'm going to need to... Hold on. Hold on a second. I think I have kids and in... getting into trouble. Can you, can you take over, Judy, for a second, and I'll be right back? Absolutely. Okay. I, I can't do the, the magic that Dan does, but I can talk about branding... And I can talk a little bit about the Rotary Brand Center. So let me see if I can share my screen. Nope, I can't. Um, I will say that, you know, I just actually jumped out of my district governor nominee training. And one of the things that we've been going over a lot in the last um, bit of training for the last few months is the Rotary Brand and really working hard um, the district governor and the Rotary International president wants all of our logos to come into compliance with um, with the, the Rotary brand. So <clears throat> we will be working as a district to help our clubs uh, navigate through that. I know there's some some long term um, Rotary logos that that clubs have used, and that is their their heart and their soul. So we don't want to take the heart and soul from what we do, but we want to try to find a happy medium. So one of the things that um, we have that it's a great access is the Rotary Brand Center that is no longer hidden behind a uh, password protected as it was before under my Rotary. And it, it within that, there are some amazing uh, abilities to create logos, flyers, uh, lots and lots and lots of content that is there. So you don't have to, to reinvent the wheel when you're going out to do your creative items. I mean, Dan has this amazing uh, ability to use Canva and he's showing us some great opportunities on how to do that. 
Um, so you can do that, or you can go on to Rotary, um, the brand center, and be able to make your own items fairly easily, update them with your current information, and um, export the files for either printing or for use in digital format. So I'll turn it back over to you, Dan. Um, I wasn't able to share my screen, so um, uh, it's turned off for me when I handed okay. it over to you. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to go back into um, the last program that I use. And like I said, this is a little bit more technical. Um, it requires having the Adobe Suite programs, but it's a program called Envato Elements. And it actually is a very expensive program to use. I think they're uh, what are their packages? About $600. But if once again, if you're a nonprofit and all you have to do is type in Envato Elements for Charities, you get it for $99 a year. So it's an, it's an awesome program. But like I said, you have to have the Adobe Suite program to be able, be able to use this. Everything that's on here usually, it uses uh, After Effects, Photoshop, InDesign, um, those types of programs. So when we go, this is where it gets a little bit more technical, but if we want to go in this program and look for flyers, I'll type in, uh, let's see, a Halloween. Aye, aye, aye. So this, this is the stuff that you can get out of this program. So they, they've got some amazing flyers in here. So all of these, obviously, you can manipulate. You can add in your logos. You can change all of the information. Everything is can be manipulated. One thing this doesn't do all the time is offer you the specific fonts and stuff. Like your computer needs to have the font built in. So a lot of times it gives you the link to go and get the font so you can bring it in. So that's where it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, but once you get used to like Photoshop, uh, these become easier and easier. When you go into video templates, which is what I do mostly in, in this um, program, because these are the fun ones. I do a lot of logo stings. So like that Back to the Future thing I was showing you uh, is a logo sting. Basically, all you do is you just drop in a logo. And... Sometimes you add the, uh, the sound effects, but you've got a ton of things that you can do with just a logo. Um, let's see if we can get one of these to play. So I can make our rotary logo do that. Um, anything you can think of is in here. But it also allows you to do slideshows, which I'm starting to do more of. Uh, for those of you that were at the the um, the gala recently, the slideshows on the um, during the uh, the event were created through this program. So there is a ton of slideshows to do. So if you're doing something for education, that's easy. Uh, that's another thing you can do is you can type in. Uh, what type of slideshow you want, and it's going to narrow it down for you. Um, like I said, it, a lot of this is just, you just type it in, and it'll tell you what's available. So it's pretty cool. Um, I do also a lot of openers, too. So this is kind of like if you just want to, uh, you can lead into something, uh, like a, a video of something that's going on uh, in your club. If you have some sort of project going, you can use the opener to kind of introduce your video. That's pretty much Envato Elements. So it gives you, it gives you the same options, um, just a little bit more technical, but those, those are the, the, the most effective programs for me so far. Um, there's always something that's, that's coming out, I'm sure, that can make your life even easier. Uh, like I said, I started out on an app on my phone, and, uh, and this is kind of where I've gotten to. So you could even you know, start on your phone and try to find an app they can, they can do what you're, you're trying to accomplish. So it's, uh, there's so many resources out there. Um, but yeah, so I hope, I hope that kind of gives you the, the roadmap of, of what, you know, where to start, where to go. Canva is the place to go. 
And if you want to get a little bit more technical, go into Envato and, and then you've got the whole, the whole deal. You can do everything. George, you had a question? In Canva, do you have automated graphics? Automated graphics? Yes. You can animated, well, I mean, not automated, animated. Okay. You know, I, I actually thought that's what you meant. So um, yeah, there's plenty of animated graphics in there. Uh, let me see, I can go back in and show you some of that. If you want to add to a post, let's see, let me go back into uh, uh, go to a Facebook post. If you go into the elements here, there you go, right here. So you save that as a as an MP4, and that's how it'll show up when it you know it'll play like that on your on your Facebook post. Very good. Yeah. So you got a ton I, of. I like motion. Yeah. Motion graphics, videos. That's that's the best way to go when you post something, anyways, on on social media. So Dan, did you go over the the brand center already? Yeah, I kind of I kind of went through like certain elements to to uh, to pull out like the logos. We kind of focused on that the most because that's kind of what everybody needs to drag into Canva to use for rotary projects. Um, we, I kind of talked about the videos, the images, uh, all kinds of, yeah, the different branding um, options you have in there. So maybe we should open it up for you guys, questions that you have, things that you're running into that you're having challenges with, how can we help you? A quick you know? question, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. That's okay. Um, I lost internet for a little bit, so maybe you discussed it. How do you get the from your brand logo onto Canva? So when you download it as a PNG, right, that's a transparent logo. So all you need to do is pull, you know, go into Canva. You, here, I'll show you. Just, it's easier to show you. So you're going to you're going to drop it in your uploads. So you upload a file that's going to pull up, you know, um, here you go. Upload the rotary logo. So you save it as oh. a PNG file and then you upload it into Canva. Yep. Oh, okay. Then, boom, okay. It's there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Juan, did you have a question? I did. So Envato can only be used with that particular program that you were talking, talking about that you also have to get. That yeah. The Adobe. Yeah, you need the Adobe Suite. So that comes with After Effects. That's what um, ha that's what allows you to build all the videos. So you can drop in the logos, or you can uh, change the text. You can alter um, pictures, um, and then it renders it and, and creates a video out of it. Uh, same with the uh, flyers and any other graphic material, banners, whatever you want to do. You have to have Photoshop to uh, manipulate those because they're just templates. All right. yeah, I you. put a I put a comment in the uh, in the chat that um, TechSoup is a, a company that will help you get um, software like Adobe Suite. Yep. Um, As a for, nonprofit, yeah. Yeah. Yep. For yeah. So if you have a foundation, you can do it through that. Yeah, I, so guess, get, I guess. I uh, guess. Can we do it? Just even if we don't have a foundation with our with our Rotary. It's a five hundred one. I think you have to have a five hundred one c three. Yeah, yeah I, I submitted all that paperwork to them. So yeah. on both both uh, companies, both software companies. Mm -hmm. But it didn't take long to get it. So that, no. that was nice too. Yeah, I, I got it with with my uh, the nonprofit that I used to work for and and you know got the whole um, um, office suite for like yeah. nothing. And I could yeah. put it on five machines. It was great. Yeah. yeah, and another thing too, when you're in Canva, you can build a team. So I've shared, I've got like eight, eight spots on my team uh, for different Rotarians uh, to access. So that makes it easier for, you know, if, if you want to submit the paperwork and get it under your information, and then you can just hand it out to, uh, I think it's up to eight members in your group. Hey, Dan, uh, is, post, is um, Canva very similar to Post on My Wall? Are you familiar with Post on My Wall? I am not. Okay. 
it, it's basically a flyer making some pre-made flyers that you can kind of change around if you needed to. It seems yeah, like it's very similar. It, it probably is. Yeah, it probably is. Those yeah. those flyers, yeah. As long as it, like in, in Vado, as long as you know Photoshop, it, they're super simple, easy to manipulate. If you don't know Photoshop, the, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't know any of these programs until this last year. Uh, thank God my brother works in this industry, so I kind of leaned on him uh, for information. But I also went to YouTube and and researched some stuff that way. Um, they're a little bit hard to follow. That's the only thing I noticed on YouTube because they kind of act like you already know. But if you can slow it down a little bit, uh, they'll they'll teach you the basics, and then you can you can manipulate them easy. Thank you. Any other questions? Now, the biggest challenge that I have is is finding the time to do all of these things. So, so Dan, when you find a way to <laughs> create that time, time <laughs> but, but like George share said, that. I will, I totally will. But like George <laughs> said, how, how long did it take me to create that one uh, flyer for George? I made that for George and it, it took me 10, 15 minutes, maybe um, that that's kind of where I've gotten. Of course, at the beginning, it, it, it takes a little longer because you're still trying to figure things out. But w once you get the hang of it, you just go to those templates manipulate them however you want and you're done it, it takes no time so once you have all the you know, you know all the uh, like you know all the different uh, pieces and where to grab this information from and it, it gets super simple and i would say too that i think a lot of clubs the pr position is one person and it really does need to be a committee if you can get a couple of different people working on it then the time gets a little easier because now you have somebody that's maybe the creator and another person that does the posting and another person that does the gathering because it is a lot for one person. Mm -hmm. Here's something that I did recently that would actually benefit everybody's club. So you, you know you can go onto Russell Hampton and buy all kinds of materials, right? So they're not the cheapest, you know, most cases. <laughs> So we, we needed a new four-way test banner because ours was old. So the banners that they sell, I think they're like 300 bucks or somewhere around there. It's crazy. I, I created that same banner. Exactly. It does not look any different for $99. So th that's the kind of options you have. You have, they have banners, you know, pull-up banners. They have, you know, uh, I think the uh, three by six banner, you can do a four by eight, you know, I think that's as big as Canva goes. Once you go past that size, you're going to have to go into like a Photoshop program. Um, but but it it opens that door too to save money, you know, and have it uh, printed uh, yourself. So that's a pretty cool feature. And Canva just recently kind of expanded too. Not all of these things were available while I was president, you know, in 2021. So uh, it's definitely grown a lot. So I'm assuming that Russell Hampton doesn't have any controls or copyrights or anything over the stuff that they produce. All so. of, I don't think so because all of the, um, basically it was logos and okay. the four-way test, but I just made it look, you know, kind of, you know, stick to the rotary look, you know, with the, the blue background and the, the yellow and white colors and stuff like that. So Ru Russell Hampton is an authorized rotary um, supplier. That is one thing that 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 we also need to keep in mind when we're going out to get shirts and hats and and things that are being produced that we need to use the rotary for that type of things. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure we're using the the um, rotary authoriz authorized dealers. Now, when it comes to printing, that's a different story. But when it comes to cups and hats and things like that, that's that's where you need to make sure you're using that rotary authorized dealer. And they have a whole section on that stuff specifically in the brand yeah. center. All right, Dan, you did a great job. Big, big round of applause, I tried. Dan. <laughs> well, I hope I made it over. easier. Yeah, I hope I made it easier because I, 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 that's what I want to stress. I think everybody's a little bit intimidated by this stuff, um, but once you get into it, you'll realize, wow, this is this is easier than I thought. And like I said, you'll just get quicker and quicker and then you'll be pumping things out right and left, you know.
like I do. So I've got a question off the subject when you're done there. Yeah, go ahead. Posting to multiple Facebook sites, especially Facebook groups. Uh, do you have something other than Hootsuite to recommend? There's if several... I want to post to 10 different Facebook groups, I can do that with Hootsuite, but that's kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not Buzz. Is it Buzz? Buzzfeed, I think. Yeah. I think it's Buzzfeed. Yeah, Buzzfeed is another one that that. Um, what was it? Uh, da, 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 da. no, it's not Buzzfeed. No. Nope. That was that's the podcast. Uh, what was it? it? Starts with a something B, like though. that. Yeah, it's very similar to that. Um, hold on a second. Let me look it up really quick. There are several that you can use. Hootsuite is one of the most expensive ones. Um, okay. Loomly is another one, um, and you can get that. You can do a, a try for free on that one. That's driving me nuts because I thought it was BuzzFeed <laughs> for sure. I know. I, I, I keep thinking BuzzFeed, but it's it's not. Buzz. Sprout Social, Hootsuite, but the best media management ones are um buffer it starts oh, with a B. buffer there you go buffer buffer is the one that, okay. that uh, that's probably one of the better ones out of all of them best priced um called buffer thank you and social sprout is another good one any other questions was this helpful to you guys yes yes good Good, good, good. Um, I think we are actually going to be taking a break in November and December because of the way the fourth Monday falls on the holidays. But as we move into the first part of the year, are there any suggestions or recommendations of things that you'd like to have for workshops going forward? information on filing for grants, government grants and private industry grants. Okay. Um, I think we can find somebody that help that can help with that that doesn't necessarily fall under PR but doesn't mean that we can't um, put you in touch with somebody. Michelle, did you have something? I'm just trying to figure out. Um, I mentioned earlier, I, my my PR people are are out right now. Um, how to develop a PR person? Oh, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. that yeah, I've got one on his honeymoon going to Bora Bora, and I've got one having brain surgery next this week. This next week. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So, hey. <laughs> good, good question, though. Very good question. And I think that's it. Leadership development throughout the club is incredibly important for every level. And, and that is a, a great question that we all should be working on for all of our different positions on our on our boards and in our clubs. Yeah. The other thing that I, I'm interested in is we have an event. Where are all the avenues that we can promote it? And we've got Facebook, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, newspapers, calendars are pretty much dead. Uh, there are a few left out there. There's a few TV stations, radio stations that have a calendar section where you can post your event, Evite, uh, and some of those places, and especially a lot of our stuff is free. So they'll give it to you for free, but you know, 
bringing it all together would be helpful. <laughs> Absolutely. I love is- talking about that. That's one of my favorite things to talk about. Michelle, you're on mute. Promoting the um, the Zoom that you did before with all of the hashtags that you can use with Facebook, that was really good. Um, you know, how you can expand that. And um, I sent that out to, to my folks. And with that, the new, relatively new Facebook business, how to use that properly. Uh, yes. That's a good one. Scheduling posts and stuff like that. Getting ahead mm-hmm. of the game. <laughs> yeah. Scheduling and boosting posts. Yeah. And repeating, uh, repeating posts on a time frame. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Well, we've got some good ones to think about. I come out of, uh, this is Laura Leindecker. I come out of Banning, but I've been doing this all my life, even in New York. So this is a refresher course for me. And I come in here late because I'm usually not ending my day, but it's a full day. So um, I appreciate you all. And um, promoting an event generally starts when you create it and who you're having as your key it's a key key thing what who it's going to be it goes back to the very ba- basic of who what where when why <laughs> so yes. um so i really appreciate this I, get, I i'm late but i just get a chance to sit for a minute and stop so i get to think and listen to you all and dan you were really interesting right now as i'm watching you so i come in here late i put it on mute and then i I absorb like a sponge what you all have to say. So thank you. And I, I've been in Rotary for a while here in, in Banning, but um, my clients are not just here in this area. So thank you for being here. And I'll go back to mute. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you, Laura. We appreciate it. We appreciate everybody's input. Everybody has their different walks of life and this great experience. And that's part of this workshop is not just us being talking heads, but getting everybody to collaborate and, and share their ideas on best practices on how to how to do things successfully. Speaking of Clarissa, do you have anything you want to add? Well, she might still be not there. Yeah. Yeah, she was driving she, before. Yeah. All right. All right. Anything else anybody wants to talk about before we sign off for the evening and send you guys on your way to maybe have some dinner? <laughs> you can always uh, ask me for help too. If you guys need anything, feel free to reach out and I'll, I'll do my best to help. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. All right. Thank you guys. Thank right. you. Thank you. everybody. Thank you. Appreciate Bye-bye. you. Have Bye. a great night.